In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to implement knockback onto a character body 3D. And this could be on a player, a enemy, really any character body 3D. And this should work in 2D if you convert everything. So first of all, you're going to want to create a folder where you want to store a script. And in the script, I call it knockback. You're going to delete everything and the first line of code is going to be class name knockback. And what a class is, is basically a almost, almost a resource. It's practically used to make everything neat, tidy, so you don't have to reuse a bunch of code and stuff. It's pretty useful, but this is going to be like a really tiny class I guess and all you're gonna have is you're gonna have knockback origin and knockback force and this is pretend like you throw a chocolate grenade right this is gonna be where the chocolate grenades position is at and the force is how strong you want the knockback to be and that's all we need in this script so in your character body 3D, you're going to want a, a function called the knockback or whatever you like, like impulse, perhaps, I don't know. And then you're going to want a parameter called knockback. I just put K and you're going to, you're going to make sure that the parameter is a class called knockback, which is what we set or created. Um, and I just put this line to double check it was working. And you're gonna notice like some extra variables and stuff. This is used with my tutorial for a player that can dash and jump. So it might look a little different than your player, but all this is is just you could just add on to the velocity, so I could just replace the velocity. I could replace that with velocity, and it should work. But in my case, it won't, because that's how I set it up to be. And Y speed is just velocity dot Y. Okay. Anyways, for extra velocity, you're gonna add the character body's position you subtract it by the the knockback origin and you're going to normalize that vector then you're going to multiply it by the knockback force so you actually move and that's it for that line and then um you want to add this line so it moves in the y direction if you'd like um, so you just do velocity dot y and then plus equals the knockback force divided by knockback resistance, which is just a variable I set. Because then you go pretty far. But I think it would work no matter what. Yeah, it definitely does. So that's all you need for that. And then to inflict the knockback. I have this shockwave grenade that's going to spawn in and all it is is just a rigid body with a, a mesh instance in shape and an area 30 which is important and it has a timer for delay okay so basically I just have an array called targets and I have an expert variable to call knockback force, which is what we'll set the class classes knockback force to. And then we have signals from the array 30, which are connected. And that's just to monitor what's inside the targets array. And then once this delay times out, the grenade will actually explode. So we're gonna create a new class, a new knockback class, and we're going to call it K. 
and then the knockback force of k is equal to this variable of knockback force and then you're going to set the knockback origin equal to the shock of grenades origin or global transforming origin and then you're going to call knockback bodies and then this function we also have a parameter which is which has to be a class called knockback and we're going to go through we're going to go through each target inside this array and we're going to check if the target has a method called knockback if it doesn't then we can't knock it back if it does then we're going to call target.knockback and then we're going to pass in the the class knockback and then we're back to this and that's really it make sure that your collisions layers and masks are set right and if you want to check out the timer settings and the knockback force for me is set to 300 it's a lot but like I'm just showing it to exaggerate the effect and then I have like a little spawner for the shock of grenades and the spawn timer is 4 seconds and when it times out we're just gonna um, add a new grenade we're gonna add that grenade as a child and then we're gonna set that position equal to this node's global transform and I'll show you guys what happens the ball is going to spawn in soon. Okay, yeah. So I'm in within its area 30, and you can see it knocks me back. And you can see the knock, the velocity del y working. Okay, these are going a little too fast, but even if I jump, I still get knocked back, and it adds on to the effect. Um. notice uh, yeah like I get launched really high when like the balls are stacked like that but I like it, it wouldn't happen if you're using these normally and not just spawning in a whole ton of them but yeah anyways thanks for watching and if you have any questions any tutorial suggestions uh, please let me know in the comments if you're stuck on anything definitely let me know Okay, anyways, please like the video and subscribe for more tutorials.